Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and I just got home from the exhaust shop and actually it's a welding shop, not the exhaust shop because the guy who fixed my exhaust, he's a welder he's a professional welder and he does freakishly awesome job so let me just show you his welds it looks awesome and the person who did it is the Tagon who owns 135F2JZ if you remember that video that I showed you and it looks very mean when he removed my exhaust that was here before he told me that it was leaking like in three or four places so right now it's done properly it looks very good yeah it looks beautiful I'm gonna show you more pictures and more clips when I'm under the car and before I do a cool start for you guys let me just tell you that uh, my turbos are done they're gonna rattle and we found that it's uh, west gates are rattling and probably the billets inside the turbos are done too because it's started to smoke and it does it and you can tell it that it smokes when the car downshifts especially when you're like driving so yeah it's not that smoke that you know like you have a bad motor but it's just signs of turbos that are need to be replaced and i already ordered uh, vargas turbos for my car it's gonna be um probably stage two but right now i'm still thinking maybe it's gonna be oem replacement but with upgraded billet so let me just do a cold start for you and you guys will hear how it sounds right now but like i said just please remember that my car has bad turbos and they sound very nasty received my headlights it's just uh, technically like a non-working units from pre LCI car I just have them to cover the holes they don't even fit correctly because they're missing some um, brackets so I just threw them in to drive around yeah and right now like at this area I had a big exhaust leak and um, he fixed it so Tagon did an awesome job he's a good guy yeah and I'm gonna do a few drives around that you guys can hear it how it sounds inside yeah it's kind of loud I think <laughs> definitely not gonna make my neighbors happy in the morning a few shots of my wagon of my straight pipe wagon now with uh, stage one MHD tune VRSF downpipes I'm driving it like it's my first day probably my first full day and to tell you the truth um, if, it be a, if it would be a race car straight pipe would make total sense but I think we should install a resonator it's very loud it's just insanely loud like I cannot imagine driving with a family in this car or like with a wife or girlfriend whatever you know so my point is that if you're gonna have two people sitting in a car and have a conversation it's gonna be really hard to not be annoyed by the sound yeah and i'm driving like 15 miles an hour right now like in a neighborhood and it's only 1100 rpm and it's already loud let me just go on the street right here and i will accelerate to like 40 45 miles an hour turbos the rattles horrible it's like a clanking metal high-pitched sound yeah sounds horrible yeah I think we need to install a resonator so I'm probably gonna ask Tegan to do it when we're gonna install my turbos because when he was doing my exhaust he designed it that way that if I decide to have a resonator we can do it yeah and I think we totally should
it's really bad like it's probably the end of that scale at least on my phone <laughs> these fires are horrible i guess west coast of whole north america like another straight bad car and right now i want to show you guys where i had my most leaks so these flanges were not um, aligning flat he used some of my old piping to make white pipe over there and you can see the quality of these welds they are awesome super super clean yeah I cannot believe that some people can weld like this looks very nice and also what i really love about this uh, straight pipe right now that it's built in pieces so like it used to be two pieces if you guys know how bmw exhaust made it's two pieces and right now my exhaust is three pieces so if we need to add a resonator which like i said in the beginning i definitely want to do we can fit one over there there is enough room and for this one we don't have to drop the whole exhaust so it, it's going to be much easier to work on it yeah yeah so thank you Tegon. Uh, he did an awesome job and i really love how it looks although it's a little bit louder for daily use but it's totally fixable and we will do it when my uh, turbos will come and then i'm gonna do more uh, cold starts more drive-bys and uh, more videos for you guys because right now my turbos are <laughs> like a bucket of nails they are so rattly yeah.